Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Bio Inc. Redemption in our Lethal Difficulty Guide series. We are going to continue the death campaign moving on into the slaughterhouse and play Perfect Lifestyle. The victim has impeccable lifestyle habits, i.e. this patient is going to have all the lifestyles basically and it's going to be kind of an uphill battle. You'd think this is going to be a really difficult scenario. Not necessarily, because the patient also starts with nosocomophobia level 2, which means he is very unlikely to go to the doctor, and even then, because of all the lifestyles, that makes him even less likely to go to the doctor, because nothing's going to be wrong, he's going to feel A-OK. -okay. Which means you have a lot of time to set up in this particular scenario. We're going to go for better resources, so we can have a lot of extra points in the early game. For diseases, we could go for collateral damage, which is still quite good. I'm actually going to go for more symptoms, just because I want to confuse the doctors. I don't use that very often, and I want to see if it actually is still any good. For risk factors, we could go for things like overweight, but I'm going to go for risk boost, which makes everything 15% stronger. Everything. Because we are going to be getting a lot of risk factors to counter the lifestyles. For recovery, we are going to go for poor treatments, and for environment, we are going to go for quick collapse, because it is the only thing that ever makes sense. Alright, nosocomophobia level 2 and countryside are activated, which means our patient is unlikely to go to the doctor for the first, I don't know, what is it, 150 days or something like that in the game? And even if he does have to go to the doctor, to the, to the ER, uh, he's, he lives out in the countryside, which means he's going to have a longer trip to get to that ER, which means, eh, I don't know, it's not going to, I don't know. I don't know exactly what that does. He doesn't go to the emergency room quite as quickly. Does that mean that the AI has less points to work with? Um, it, it take, he has a delay before he gets the uh, cheaper diagnostics and treatments? I'm not too sure. Either way, for our risk factors, let's start by making this guy overweight. That is the classic beginning for any um, fall from grace. Now, it's a little upsetting to me that this guy has um, a lot of muscles and then selling a lot of fat built into the muscles. You can see the contour of the muscle even underneath the rolls of fat. Actually, his body is starting to look a little bit more like mine. Aha! That's a horrible burn against myself. Alright, let's make him obese. He's gonna go a bit beyond me now. Two burgers at a time? For shame! Double chin! That is your punishment. Alright, let's go for all of these points. I actually managed to grab all of those. That's amazing. Let's go for the... You know what? We'll go for hereditary. Now, if you want to go for upgrades, one thing you have to do is go for the immune system health lower than 80%. Which means you are going to want to focus on the immune system pretty early on. In fact, it might be one of the first things that you'll want to target if you can. If you want to access all of the upgrades. So going for things like hereditary and allergies makes a lot of sense to me. If you want to get the level 3 upgrade, that means we have more risk factors. That's not going to be a problem. And if we want to get extra resources, we have to go to the emergency room. That will happen naturally as we are killing the patient. So really the main bottleneck there is going to be um, the uh, immune system. Again, allergies, Gesundheit, and hereditary goes a long way. Actually, uh, because he's overweight, it re reduces his um, immune system. For some reason, I thought hereditary did. Oh, maybe it's bad genetics. Bad genetics? Is that a thing? Actually, wait. No, they got rid of that, didn't they? You have good genetics still available, but bad genetics, I think, are gone. Or did they ever have that? Oh, I don't know. Now, one thing you should not do... I know it sounds tempting. Do not go for... Wow, he randomly evolved necrotizing fasciitis? That's terrible for me. It actually means he's very likely to go to the doctor much earlier than I expected. Uh-oh. Huh. Do not go for the Nymphomaniac, is what I was going to lead into. Do not do it. And the reason you don't want to do that is because he has so many lifestyles that whatever damage he takes from Nymphomaniac is immediately going to get healed, and unless you have any diseases to back that up, which you won't for a while, that's not going to do you any favors. So just don't bother with it. He just randomly uh, got something else. Hair loss. What the heck is this? The game knows what I'm trying to do, and is giving me freebies. Stop it! No! Stop it! You're sabotaging me! Let's make him over 60 years old. His skeletal system is also fairly weak. There's only one lifestyle currently improving that, so... I'm thinking between the, um... The really cheap circulatory stuff that we're going to have access to, plus the uh, immune system and the skeletal, those are probably the three systems I'm going to focus on the most at first. Primarily, though, the reason we're going for the risk factors is not only to offset the lifestyles, but don't forget you get a nice cost reduction for every one of these risk factors, which does add up pretty nicely indeed. Let's go for... I think we go for the junk food addict next. I would like to go for things like smoker. It is pretty good. Alternatively, we could try to make this guy addicted to drugs. You know? Um, that I mean, the, the main things that'll get this guy killed. Hamburgers, unprotected sex, and drugs. Heroin. You know? He, he had an incredible lifestyle, but those are the three things that are going to get him killed. 
I have no idea. We'll see what comes back to that. All right, so 12 points. Uh, we could go for Morbidly Obese, which is quite good and gets you a lot of cost reduction, so I probably will want to go for that. Actually, it's going to make the first several diseases in the circulatory system completely free, which is going to be very nice for me. Uh, but again, immune system has got to be a high priority for me, just because I do want to get those upgrades as quick as I can. Morbidly Obese, thank you. Do we go for the Smoker and the Workaholic and work toward drugs? Kind of up to us at this point. I think when he goes to the doctor is going to be our sign that we do need to start ramping up our speed a little bit. Malnutrition would not be half bad as far as digestive and renal. I don't remember that what that works into. Is that dehydration? I think if you are malnourished, it leads to dehydration, which affects the renal system a lot, which I'm not really intending on hitting too much, so I'm going to say that that's a very low priority. Let's instead go for the workaholic. I now need, I think it is 18 points in order to get to the next thing. Okay, he is going to the doctor, which means we're kind of starting to run out of time. This is about the point when our patient is going to start getting uh, new lifestyles to counter whatever we are going to do. So we either commit to getting all of the risk factors and say, screw it, doctor, there's only so much you can do because there's only so many lifestyles left and there's nothing to cure. Or we start doing some damage now, but then the doctor is going to have an opportunity to start curing the patient, which I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, do keep in mind, of course, we do have necrotizing fasciitis, and we have the hair loss, which is probably one of the reasons he had to go to the doctor in the first place. Uh, it was 18, right? Yeah, 18 for Smoker. All right. We're going to go for that. Uh, basically, you'll want to find the systems where you have more risk factors than lifestyles and take advantage of those. So muscles, for example, very good option right there. Renal, nervous, not so much. Circulatory, sure. Now, see, because there's nothing really... Well, apparently there is stuff to cure. I don't know what the doctor's not doing that. But uh, now he's doing more lifestyles. So rather than cure the two conditions that he has, because he's not actually taking any damage, uh, the doctor has decided to just go for more lifestyles, which is okay, I guess. Alcoholic would be pretty nice for us. Um, drug addict is really good if you want to focus on getting the uh, nervous system damaged. <sighs> I only could get one of those. But I don't know if that really is going to matter at this point. We may want to actually go ahead and start doing uh, a lot of damage before the patient has an opportunity to become like a marathon runner. Because that's when the lifestyles do become a lot harder to overcome. You know, a marathon athlete is uh, is pretty darn good. Workaholic, 18 points. Mm. I think we are going to go for the uh, malnutrition, and maybe we go for dehydration. Mm, you know what? No. I actually think this might be enough risk factors to start doing something to our patients. So let's go ahead and grab the blood clots, the high cholesterol, the hypertension, and the deep vein thrombosis, and the angina, all of these immediately. The circulatory system is going to start taking a lot of damage. After that, we then focus all of our efforts down here in the uh, immune system and try to weaken it below 80% so that I have access to the upgrades a little bit sooner. Uh, this should distract the doctor a fair bit. Um, mostly, though, I don't know. We're, we're kind of in a weird position where I am still kind of be starved for points. Let's go ahead and get down to the immune system. We could go for photosensitivity and lupus. I think for now we go for insomnia. I don't know. Right now, the immune system is still doing just fine. We need to do a lot more damage. A lot more damage to that. But again, I'm hoping that the doctor is going to waste all its time curing the circulatory system. That he doesn't really bother with the immune system anytime soon. That said, he did just get uh, good genetics, which makes things a lot harder. So you know what? My best option then is to go start rushing toward uh, immunodeficiency. That's going to really screw him over, right? I think so. In the meantime, we're getting some free damage on the circulatory system that is not going challenged right now, so... Okay. Honestly, I would say give up on the immune system if it weren't for the fact that we need these upgrades so badly. We could focus on destroying the circulatory system so that um, it starts cascading. Is that better right now? Kind of depends. I, I think... Well, he is going for the high cholesterol, so he's gradually curing some stuff. Let's go for the immunodeficiency. If we can get Addison's disease, that's pretty substantial. We may want to focus on the circulatory system now that I think about it. I mean, it sounds good to go for the immune system first, and that was my plan going into this. It really was. But if he is going to start curing all this stuff, like the hypertension, that's a kind of a big deal. Let's go for the brain aneurysm and start doing some nervous system damage. Let's really scare this guy uh, and get the doctor to work on everything else. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I would love to go for things like the arrhythmia, um, possibly the pulmonary embolism, the post phlebitic syndrome. I'm not eager to get the aneurysm and the stroke because one brain MRI gets all of them cured. 
which is a little unfortunate for me. So what I may want to do then is, in fact, yes, go for the heart attack, really shut down that circulatory system so we can start cas cascading some damage in the immune system. That will make it a lot easier for me to focus on getting things like Addison's disease. I want that three-pointer. It's more important. I wanted everything, but you can only get one. You can only get one. Let's go for the arrhythmia. Even more damage being done. He has a lot of lifestyles working against me. There's the ele uh, exercise electrocardiogram. Um, is that immediately going to detect the... Uh, no, I think that detects the angina first. Unless I'm very much mistaken. Heart attack is 16 points. We're probably not going to get the stroke, and I'm kind of okay with just saying the stroke is out of the question. Um, too many points, not going to be worth it. There's the angina. Okay. So if we can get three more points, I think we can go for the heart attack. That won't be enough, I don't think, to immediately shut down the circulatory system. But by God, is it going to get close. Electrocardiography is going to detect the arrhythmia. I actually want to wait until this is done, because it also would detect the heart attack. No reason to make it easier for the uh, AI to cure the heart attack. Now he has to do the test a second time if he wants to cure this patient. All right, so that's now done. We're going to go ahead and pick up photosensitivity and start finally doing actual damage to the circulatory. He's down to 10% for his uh, circulatory system, which is fantastic. And the doctor has not been focusing on the deep vein thrombosis route at all, which means I will be able to go for the uh, post-slabitic syndrome later, if I so desire. But really, this is all just cover so I can go for the immune system. So now that that's failed, he's uh, going to the emergency room, which means that the doctor is going to start curing things a lot faster, which is a problem. Here goes the ultrasound. All right. But let's see if we can get into... I can't get Addison's disease yet. Lupus would be really good, but I want Addison's. It's good. It's a very good disease. It does a lot of damage to the immune system, and we're really close to having it. Again, though, I need those upgrades. If I don't get the points, it's going to be kind of hard to outrace the AI. Addison's disease is done. Immune system's going to start taking a bit more damage. All we have to do is get to 80%, and there it is. If I can get a couple more points, there they are. We can start going for all of my upgrades. That's all I needed, really. I don't have to do any more with the immune system. Six points. Oh, Six points to get the uh, the upgrade. That's interesting. When do they change that? Ugh. Almost lost that on those points. But we got it. We got it. Eight points to get the extra three for every 15 days. He's in the emergency room. He is going for the deep vein thrombosis. So actually, he's going to probably uh, cure up the circulatory system relatively soon. But whatever. We're going to go for the plus one per resource and see how well that works out for me. It's going to make a big difference. We are um, up to 358 days. This is a very long scenario, I'm not going to lie to you. It does take a good long while. The recovery progress is making me a little nervous too. 56% already? Yeah, we really do need to start getting things like lupus and stuff pretty soon. Um, it's not going to be that much longer before he has that. Alright, we're going to go for the plus one per resource, and now we are cooking with a lot of gas. Or at least we will be. Insomnia is on its way out. Uh, I do not want him to cure photosensitivity, because that will cut out my ability to get lupus. Lupus, of course, will lead to lupus nephritis, which I can then use to uh, shut down his renal system a heck of a lot faster. I need 16 points to go for that. Photosensitivity does not take long to cure, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. We are going to slow down to make sure that I don't waste any uh, points by accident. Because that would be a bit of a problem. Alright, so photosensitivity is going to be done, but let's go for the lupus. Uh, we can go for lupus nephritis now at 15 points. That would do a ton of extra damage to his renal system, which actually is still looking kind of good, and I'm going to go with not that important. Better to go for the nervous system and try to get as much cascading failure as insurance. If he does a heart transplant, there goes my, um, there goes the only thing that is currently cascading any damage in the extra systems. Having another one means that even though he cured the entire circulatory system, he's still going to lose it. So let's go to the nervous system. Let's get... Actually, you know what? Parkinson's is really good because it's going to do a lot of damage to the muscular system and it's going to throw him off quite a bit in the nervous system while doing some damage there. So then we're going to go for the chronic stress. Actually, we might be able to get that now. We can. Then we're going to go for the nervous breakdown. He's at 69% um, cure progress or recovery right now, which does make me a little nervous. Uh, sooner we can shut down that immune system, probably going to be the better. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to. The immune system's holding on pretty darn tight. If I go for the allergies, is that worth it? Yes, because if I can shut down the immune system, that will cascade more damage to the nervous system, and then he's going to lose. Then he's going to lose before we can do anything else. Blood immunoglobin tests, globulin tests, he is going to look for the immunodeficiency. So he's going fishing for that right now. He's going to discover it. The AI, despite the fact that I have more symptoms, is properly diagnosing basically everything, which I find a little annoying. There's dementia, a lot of extra damage being done to the nervous system right now. Uh, he's going crazy. John Smith is going crazy. 
All right, the immune system has failed, which means the nervous system will fall apart pretty soon. With Parkinson's, muscle muscular system is very vulnerable. Let's go for the potassium and the chronic muscle cramp. Fibromyalgia would do a lot more damage there as well, but once we have four systems down, I think he's pretty much done for. Immune deficiency is getting cured. That is a lot of recovery progress. Not thrilled about that. But oh well, uh, not much we can do about it at the moment. Getting those upgrades has made a huge difference, by the way. We're getting a lot of extra points that we can use. Otherwise, we would not be able to outrace the AI for the recovery right now. Renal system would be an easy target for me as well. And there's nothing else I can really do in the muscular system right now. So let's go to the renal system. Uh, I wanted lupus nephritis, but we're not going to get it. Let's go for kidney cysts and urinary incontinence and start doing some damage there. Just to kind of speed things along. Um, how much is immune efficiency going to give him as far as recovery? I mean, not enough, but I'm a little curious. How much is that worth? The more severe the disease that he cures, the more recovery progress he is going to get. Obviously not the best for me. There's lupus nephritis, which does a lot of extra damage to the renal system. The digestive system's also on its way out, and never mind, it doesn't matter because he is dead. Perfect lifestyle, man. Shouldn't have had all those burgers. Let this be a lesson to all of you watching. You may think that you're healthy, but if you keep eating that fast food... You might just get every disease known to man. All right, 336 points, 442 days. Takes a long time, and that's a big part of what killed my score there. We almost got 5,000 points. Pretty high recovery, though, and a lot of extra time. Yeah, that really hurts your score. But overall, it's not a hard scenario. I would not say at any point I was feeling really stressed out. You know, I wasn't really that concerned that we were going to lose. Just go for every single risk factor that you feel like you're going to need, and then boom, it's pretty much an easy win. Also, definitely go for that immune system kind of early. Makes a big difference. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. They are the key to winning on Lethal Difficulty, in my personal opinion. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.